Kong is short, and so you're not really going to necessarily gain any advantage for Kirby's own shortness. Kirby kind of has to stay grounded, and I do feel like Diddy Kong is an amazing character when his opponents are forced to stay grounded against him. Just between things like down tail, things like banana. Oh, that's what happens when you're on the ground. You get hit by banana. All of this damage. Okay, not actually. Oh, and it still keeps going. The banana was inside the shield, and so as soon as he dropped it, he tripped. And now Dijon Mark. All right, at 66%. But one of the weaknesses of Diddy Kong is especially if you know the matchup, sometimes he just really, really struggles to kill. I mean, it's not unusual to see Diddy Kong have to kill with side B at the ledge at 150, 160. <laughs> oh, but the thing is, if you don't know the matchup, you can get tripped up just like that, literally in this case. Dude, he's getting hit by so many of these bananas. You have to know where ban banana is. It feels like he's not respecting how the fact it just has a long-lasting constant hitbox. All right, but then on the other side, he cannot pull anything like that. But I love that down tilt is such a good, fast move, and that also means that his opponent was going to be desperate to combo break it, respecting the up B, and actually gets a solid punish. It's not out of uh, the question that. That uh, Dijon Mark might get lapped here in percent. Ooh, but grabbing the banana right there, and that's... Ooh, good DI. Going to be surviving that Lucina forward smash. 112. Yeah, um, not going to be surviving Lucina side B at the ledge. That move is so, so <laughs> reliable. So even though Dijon Mark is down by a considerate amount, considerable amount right now. The thing is, if you are able to effectively play around Diddy Kong's kill option, specifically Banana, if we see adaptation and change in the way that uh, Dijon Mark is dealing with Banana, which we're seeing already a little, you know, uh, improvements here. Oh, lots of improvements, actually. The question is whether it will be enough. If the real key here is surviving. I mean, up, like you get hit by Diddy Kong up air, like, yeah, you get slapped in the face, but it's not really that bad. The move doesn't have great damage output, and you're not dying. That's the important thing. Number one goal right here is to not die. He did not want that second jab. That actually might have been the kill. He gets the kill regardless. No, and he goes so deep out there, but a great recovery from Infernape. But we're seeing much, much better play from Dijon Mark right now. And, ow! Oh, speaking of not respecting, did not respect that, uh, that Side B from Lucina. All right, that's going to be an up smash. Solid, solid. We're moving into the sort of end stages of this game, though. One stock a piece. I feel like Dijon Mark has really shown that he's learned how to play around Banana much more effectively, even using it to his own advantage, as we saw right there. Didn't quite get the follow-up, but... Yeah, putting it in good placements, recognizing that. I'm loving the adaptation. Oh, he's going to be forced to... Good, good recovery from both players, actually, right there. Yeah, as Lucina, you probably want to... You don't want to go too hungry, but you can, in a way, push your advantage here. Push the fact that... Yeah, you can definitely do that. Reading those side Bs, it felt like by the end of that game, side Bs on stage, side Bs off stage, they were just getting red consistently. And for Diddy Kong, it's a very important move. It, you know lets him cover a lot more space than he normally would, especially without Banana in hand. But it's committal, and if the opponent knows about it, which at that point, yeah, Dijon Mark knew about it, uh, it can get punished really hard. All right, so moving into game two, I actually did not catch the stage counterpick, but, I'll see, but we'll see it in just a moment here. All right, going back to PS2, I can agree with that. Uh, those platforms are... Mm, I'm actually wondering whether those platforms help out uh, Dijon Mark or Infernape more. It felt like in the last game, actually, Dijon Mark was using them really well by the end. At the beginning, it felt like Infernape was kind of the one in command of those platforms, though. So we'll see how things shape up. Now, okay, that was really good. I love that. Runs up to his shield, baits him into an out-of-shield option, dashes back, though, just in time, and Diddy Kong has so much range with a banana in hand. So even with that dash back, he was able to uh, still get a punish. 
All right, it looks like I'm about to be joined on the mic here. The question is whether Ryan is listening and will mic up my co-caster right now. Poo poo, one second. All right. Yo, check it. Okay, we're yeah. live. We're, we're good. Okay, I'm only, I'm only going to be here for like a match or two. That's fine. I'm honestly going to hop off after a match or two probably also. Okay. You're in bracket? No. Uh -huh. I, but I brought an N64, my guy. I'm oh. going to be I'm gonna be grinding against Stir the Kid. Oh, you're playing the wrong game. Uh, I disagree. I think that's I, actually the worst match game. Oh, you. I'm a Brawl plebeian, lover. Plebeian. Plebeian. Brawl lover. I mean, I'll play Brawl before average I play 64. Brawl, average Brawl player versus average N64 enjoyer. Like, <laughs> listen, the game is I love my oh, Wii. <laughs> listen, I just N64 is nothing but footsies and punish game. Yeah. It's my two favorite things about Smash. <laughs> and Brawl it's, is nothing but patience. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's nothing but neutral and more neutral. And then it's like, oh, who do you play? Oh, I love playing me Gunner Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, adds up, adds up. <laughs> Uh, all right, to talk about this actual game in front of us here. Ooh, um, Dijon Mark, he was kind of getting bashed yeah. at the very beginning of this set, and no. his adaptation has just been so good. The yeah. way he's playing around Banana now and the so, way he's reading Infernape's options has just been consistent, so, consistent. Okay, so from my knowledge, low-key, Infernape might be the better player, like on paper. Like, if you look at the two stats, look, pull up the Smash CGs, Infernape might have the higher win percentage. But... From what I've been seeing the set and why I wanted to get on the mic is, man, Dijon, Dijon Mark, kind of on the come up. I will say, when's, uh, maybe it's been a little while since you've been here, but he's been doing really yeah. well consistently. And I mean, part of it is that he's not playing Kirby every single match. Uh, sad to say. Uh, who would have thought? <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, it's like, he's definitely been on the come up and he definitely has the footsies and the funnies. Maybe he loves 64. That's true. <laughs> I mean, his, his punish game is also definitely solid. Yeah, uh, solid. Hit him with the Thundercats. Hey, uh. <laughs> oh, man. That was a two stock. Yeah. That was, an, like, that was, that was even close. That was, that was clean. Like, Inferno is no slouch. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. He's been. I feel like he. Inferno. He's, like, not mind. quite always getting top eight. I think he's gotten top eight before. Right? I, he might have gotten top eight I once like, or twice I feel like, here. But, he's I, always but I think that's, like, with the less men people, like, yeah, oh, it's yeah. like there's like one or two heavy hitters, but this is like a bigger bracket now, especially this week. Everybody just came out of nowhere, and then yeah, this Inferno. I feel like he's the step right below the like good players. That's the thing. So if like, like if I'm like, the, like if I'm the line of the good players, <laughs> quote unquote, <laughs> yeah, I'm putting myself there. <laughs> I think he's actually the like the tier right below. Yeah. Well, the thing is, he's. I feel like he's on the cusp of top eight a lot of the time. Yeah. You know, he always has a shot there, and it's just there's a player like you yeah. who's just cutting him short. He's always in the gla like looking in. Yeah, but these are two players where uh, <laughs> they are 